I'm Joan Irwin, a Marin Master Gardener, and today we're going to be talking about how to build a worm composting bin for your home. First, I'm going to talk about few, a little bit about the materials that we'll need. You're going to need three bins sized appropriately for the amount of scraps you're going to be w using. These bins are, about, are good for two or three people in your household. Now we're going to put together our bins. You're going to make holes in the bottom of two of the bins. And you're going to do that with your drill and your quarter inch bit. So drill the holes about an inch apart all the way through all, the one bin and the second bin. Now, in addition to that, you're going to want to make some holes in the side of the bin so that air can get in and the worms can breathe. That's it as far as what you have to do in the way of construction. Now we're going to assemble the bins. Take the bin that has no holes. That's the reason we do that is because that's going to collect liquid. We're going to insert one of the bins that has holes. Into this, we're going to put our bedding, our food, and our worms. The bedding, remember, can either be shredded paper, dampened, leaves, dampened, or core, or any other product that is an edible product. Let's use some dampened leaves. Remember, an important part of this is that the worms will eat whatever this bedding is, so make sure it's edible, a natural product. Into that, we're going to add some food, and this I would strongly suggest you use your favorite kitchen scraps. I like banana skins, melons, pieces of melon. Put in some food, and then add the worms. You want to have about, oh, this many worms, which is about a pint. You could do with, start with a half a pint. The exact amount isn't so important. But what is important is that you get the worms that are called red wigglers. The reason for these is because these worms, while they're earthworms, they feed on the surface and the food you're going to be putting on the surface. Let's talk about maintaining the worm bin once you've got it put together. Every day in the beginning, I want you to check your worm bin. Open it up, make sure there's still food in there that the worms seem to, and that worms seem to be eating it. Look down into the bin underneath. There will be liquid there because that's one of the products of this. Every day, empty out that liquid. It contains a lot of bacteria and we don't want that to become anaerobic and cause any health problems. Do that every single day until it looks like most of the food that you've put in there is gone. When that happens, and I'm gonna guess that's gonna be a couple of weeks, maybe two, two to three weeks, now you're going to take the other bin that you put the holes in the bottom and you're going to put it on top of the, of the one that was, there be, that was there before. So you've got three bins in a row now. Start putting food in the top bin. The worms will migrate up through the holes in, this, in the bottom of this bin to find that new food. When that happens, let that go about a week Take this bin out, which is now full of worms. Take the bin that they were in before, the middle one. You now have compost in this one and use this on your plants. Remember, every day empty the liquid out of the bottom one. Put this bin in, the worms are there. Add a little bit more food, put this on top, and now you've got the worm bin working again for you. So you're gonna rotate these back and forth every couple of weeks when it looks like the worms have eaten most of the food that you've put in there. Now you've got yourself a worm bin.